on our previous episode of Onboard Lifestyle. Our lumpy passage stirred up a clump of bacterial growth that wreaked havoc on our poor engine. A clump of something right on the pickup tube. So the crew got down to business and polished the tank in this remote region of Nicaragua. With our fuel problem resolved, let's pick up our story as we give BASIC another much needed upgrade before we set out to explore this amazing stop. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? And I knew we would catch up, and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to leave my mind. This road that I am on, I gotta stay here for some time. So I can't believe it took us all this time to finally do it, but we are getting a little bit of uh, protection in our pop top. Finally, yesterday I did these two, um, and obviously we still have to get the bottom kind of situated and figured out how we're gonna fasten it down. Uh, but now Teal's working on the front, which is going to be major because we're always in the elements constantly. The problem is, is the sun came out and it is blistering hot and humid. So the sooner we get this uh, channel in, the sooner Teal gets out of the sun. Doesn't help that you're wearing black. Hey. I'm comfortable. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how's it looking? It's, it, it's gonna work perfect. Yeah, so far so good. I can't believe, why did it take us so long? It's all about priorities. This is not a priority? It is now, after that last leg. <laughs> See, it moved up the priority list. Yeah, that was brutal. I'm finding still, after washing everything down, I still find salt all over. In areas that you didn't think that it can get to, it did. I know, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay. A little tight space here, but we'll get it. I think it's the worst is working above your head. This is the last track to put in on the top, then you could uh... Well, we don't have any tracks for the bottom, so we're gonna have to figure out maybe well, some footman loops and we don't have zippers, so we'll probably use Velcro as well. <laughs> we'll just make do with whatever we find. Like what Emma says, duct tape. This is gonna go right here. Yep, should fit right in there. Perfect. It does, but it falls out. I know, well, we'll, we'll put the fasteners. No, we'll put little screws we'll in. Glue it. Just glue it in. Uh... We'll just Duct tape, we'll duct just duct tape, duct tape it. <laughs> okay, track is in. All the other ones I had done previously, I don't know why I just didn't put this one in. Probably because of this drain right here. But it's all sorted out. She's starting to rough in all the other panels. Boy, this is going to be nice. She's down here right now measuring out her eyes and glass. Everything running smooth? We've had, had this roll for how many years now? Too long. <laughs> I know, but this is what cruising's all about. Yeah. Going to an exotic place and working. Yep, slowly but surely we'll get there. We're getting there. Hey, this stuff looks like it weathered pretty good over time, didn't it? Well, yeah, it was all protected in a box and then wrapping it inside. She's starting to get all her little end pieces done.
while I'm going through all my hardware, see what I could do to uh, get all this new canvas connected. I've, looks like I have a bunch of footman loops here and some screws. I'm, I think I need a couple more of these and definitely some more screws, but we're doing what we can while we're in Nicaragua. There isn't a hardware store within, I don't know, a couple hundred miles of here. Lynn is on day two of the basic canvas shop out here in the cockpit. She's getting real close. Just Every time I get close, things happen though. <laughs> like what? Run out of thread or? No, then it starts jumping. And... Well, you know, that's all part of it. Yeah, easy for you to say. But it's starting to look good. She's getting all these panels. Look at this one. There's one panel. What we'll end up doing is, uh, we we prefer zippers in the corner, but we don't have zippers. So she's doing Velcro right now. We'll probably end up with zippers later in life. Look at this panel here is done. She's kind of just making all the connections and then we'll put uh, footman loops and connect it down. Kind of like we did with the rest of our hardware. Our canvas was connected down just like this and it seems to work pretty good. So it's not a real watertight connection, but man, it's gonna be 99% better than what we had. I just don't wanna get slapped in the face anymore with salt water. Yeah, that was no fun. Okay, keep at it, you're doing good. Welcome back to Lynn's sweatshop. <laughs> Nicaragua has been a busy stop for her. She has been just uh, busting her butt last couple of days, but look at this. This enclosure's starting to take shape. We're missing some hardware to finish this off, mostly the C channel that goes on the bottom, but we've put footman loops on the ends just to kind of hold it in place till we could get that. But man, this is gonna be nice. She's working on the next panel that comes down here. Uh, that's gonna be an important one. Anything that we wanna protect this side of the helm station, especially for this next passage with the Papagayos, it's gonna be hitting us on our port beam. The Papagayo winds are strong winds that travel southwest from the Caribbean to the Pacific Ocean through the Cordillera Mountains. Due to a unique combination of synoptic scale meteorology and orographic phenomena, these winds can reach much greater speeds than their trade wind counterparts. But meanwhile, she keeps plugging away. I think she'll probably, it looks like she'll do everything she could do today. And then we'll be uh, ready to, yeah, ready to go. So. Did I mention that this violent mountain gap wind phenomenon occurs in three different regions on the Pacific side of Central America? The Tehuantepec jet, the Papagayo jet, and the Tehuano jet at the Panama Canal. I'm learning as I go. Learning. Made a little bit of mistakes. Looks pretty professional. Are you kidding? No. I'm liking it. Here you go, working on... I think that's your last panel for this project, right? Well, it should have been done yesterday, but... It's so dang windy yesterday. No, there it was off a little bit, so... Oh, yeah, You're besides... the one that told me I had to do this. Oh, come on. There was a little wrinkle you weren't happy with. Well, just your fine-tuning... Haha. <laughs> This is not the easiest. Hey, I think you're becoming a master craftsman here. Don't even. This could be a new career for you. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> no. Well, we're getting close though. Well, lucky thing. We're getting close to leaving and it'd be nice to have this one up. Yeah. I agree. Ah! It's excursion day. We are leaving Nicaragua in a few days, so we might as well take a little road trip to I think it's Leon, do a little sightseeing, maybe pick up some fresh produce because there is nothing here uh, in town, and then uh, head out. So, uh, super excited. This is a very historical area. This is also an area that I feel like in recent years, Nicaragua has been in turmoil. We haven't really felt it yet, but uh, we'll see what happens when we get into the main city. 
should be fun. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty excited to see this area, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. No, I am, I am. <laughs> it's early, full day excursion. Yeah, it is kind of early. Uh, we got up, I don't know, about 5.30. And uh, the driver's picking us up and uh, heading into town. It's going to take us about, I believe it's a two hour drive. So it should be fun. Sure. Nice. So today, the plan for today is just to have a clear idea. We are driving from here. First stop we will make is in El Viejo, a small village. We will visit a factory, artisanal factory of rosquillas. This is a kind of traditional indigenous biscuit made of corn. The families making this product for five generations. Oh wow. Five generations working in this. So if you follow me we will see the young ladies working with the doll. So this is the Rosquillas Reyes, five generations making this. So you can imagine they are experts in this product and they can make 10,000 items of this per day and everything is sold because they are heating the oven at the moment. When the, all the embers are gone, they take all the ashes out and they use only the heat uh -huh. in, the, in, the, in the oven and they put all the trays. You can see all those trays will right. go into the oven in a moment or other during the day. Then we follow our trip to Leon, where we will visit the murals in the Central Park. We will visit the Cathedral of Leon. It's the biggest in Central America. First of all, this is the entrance to the catacombs of the church. Now. really open but we won't go this cathedral that I hope everybody brought some socks otherwise might be a little bit hot on top. the cathedral we have the chance to visit one of the museums of Leon. It's, this is a museum of myth and legends. We walk a little bit in the city. The, the, 
the fields on fire. Then the people come with machetes and they cut down all the sugar cane. Then the machine comes, picks up all the sugar cane and sends it in big trucks to the, to the factory. Our last stop for the day was at the Florida Cana facility at the base of the San Cristobal volcano. I was told this is our first little taste, 12 year old rum of multiple tastes as we take the tour today. We'll see how much we can remember by the end of the tour. But wow, what a facility. Feels like we're in a Hollywood set. It's just massive. This one for us is very important because we do it five times. Five times because in other companies they only do it like twice or three times. But here we go on to the fifth distillation because we want to obtain an alcohol with a great quality and also to remove the sugar. Florida Cana is a 130-year-old family business renowned as one of the best rums from Latin America. Having won more than 150 international awards since 2000, Florida Cana is proud to be the world's first spirit to be carbon neutral and fair trade certified. Bag. Woo so time to, to get back to basic. We'll We're tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry. It's been a long day. I'm long taking day. public transport. Anyways. But what Cheers, a fun guys. day. Cheers. Cheers. That was really uh yeah. really informative. It was. I didn't even realize the size of the scope of this facility. It's well, just... I, I appreciate the, the makings of wine. Or sorry, wine. <laughs> Rum. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I should take that away. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Onboard Lifestyle. A special thanks goes out to our wonderful patrons whose generous support drives the production of our videos. Join our crew if you can. With our Dodger nearly complete and a lovely taste of Nicaragua's beautiful scenery, this crew is setting its sights for Costa Rica. Come back next week to see what we decide. See you then!